What's your best example of an improvement that ruined a product? Algorithm based timelines instead of chronological ones. Cough, Facebook, cough, Instagram. I love seeing posts from 5 days ago at the top of my feed. Facebook mid video ads. Frick that personalized ads it just makes me scroll down my feed. There hasn't been a single video that I hadn't skipped every time an ad comes up. Literally the second I see that little countdown to an ad pop up I'll lose all interest in the video and close it. I hate the new plastic Snapple bottles. Weather.com. It used to provide me with accurate weather forecasts. It now is one giant cesspool of clickbait articles with questionable weather numbers mixed in sporadically. WeatherGov. Literally everything about iTunes. Someone once called it a software update utility that also plays music. Someone in here already said Facebook but I need to make a special mention for Messenger. Frick you Messenger. Yes I know I added a friend. Because I freaking added them. Digital cable. Cable used to flip channels instantly. And all you had to do was remember a two digit number for each channel. Now, it takes 30 seconds to go to another channel. It's mesmerizing how awful cable boxes are from a product standpoint. That stupid live camera option on Facebook when you swipe left. As someone with mild motor tics, especially with my hands, I'm constantly opening that freaking camera by accident. If I see that dancing guy one more time I'm going to do nothing and probably still accidentally open that camera a thousand more times. The mechanisms in modern gas cans that are intended to prevent spills completely screwed gas can functionality. Just made me use them in a less safe way, with no nozzle at all. Dang thing broke immediately. Whatever Yahoo did to Flickr. Yahoo tends to do that. Keurig 2.0. They put DRM in it. LOL. My mouse has pop-ups in the system tray. My mouse has pop-ups in my system tray. In 2018, Mouse will be introducing stories. ES File Explorer for Android. Used to be a nifty little program. Now laden with ads, irritating notifications etc. A textbook example of bloatware. Skype, mobile version. It was very practical, simple to use before. Since June or so it became meh. Copying Instagram messengers trends with these moments things. A terrible UI and even a lack of functionalities from the previous versions. It also takes half a year to launch. When Hulu announced they'd be updating their interface, I was excited because they have a great content library but the interface wasn't super good. It feels like they made it worse on purpose. It's a dumpster fire of an interface on Android that makes me question every person who worked on it. I don't get it at all. Opening it feels like walking into a party where you know several of the people and you were really excited to attend, but they're all talking about something you know nothing of while hiding behind various plants and furniture. Subscriptions for literally everything. You can't even buy software anymore. Only rent. Pyrex Glass Kitchenware. They used to be the gold standard in high quality tempered glass products. But in 1998, they changed from borosilicate glass to soda lime glass which was supposed to be cheaper and lighter. But it's less heat resistant and breaks more easily. Whenever a news site has a video clip embedded at the top of the article that auto plays and then fricking follows Emmy down the page in a little embedded window in the corner while continuing to play frick you go away god. And then IT auto plays another video that has nothing to do with the article you're trying to read. Every iOS update never fails to remove a feature I like or make something worse. Star Wars Galaxies. A great MMO that was ruined by improving it with combat and class system overhaul in order to compete with WoW. This only drove away the players and completely killed the game. And they did it twice. A lot of people weren't happy with the original combat upgrade. But the new game experience really drove people away. I really liked the original tree progression system. It was a really good game before they messed it all up. Almost every news sports website redesigned that adds white space, reduces readability, and removes critical content and relevant links to provide more space for social media times, irrelevant video clips, and invasive ad space. Content is being twitterized. Utorrent. They took a nice, 
Simple program and plastered it with ads and added spyware. This seems to have been the fate of every torrent client I've ever used. I've not torrented anything for a while now, but I was last using the no-nonsense deluge and it got the job done fine. Hyundai now has an alarm on the dash that makes a piercing ding every time it detects the roadway is colder than 40 degrees. I live in North Idaho. I would do anything to disable that freaking alarm. Anything. Whatever the frick they did with Mac and Cheese, Kraft brand. I saw a commercial semi recently where they were all proud that they changed the recipe and nobody noticed. Bulls, I freaking noticed and I don't like it anymore. Didn't even notice. Yeah, they didn't change it a little. It doesn't even taste like it used to. Check out the bulk mac and cheese powder at Bulk Barn. It's not exactly like old KD but it's closer than the new garbage. Plus now I can have radiator and cheese instead of elbow noodles. Subscription based software. Yes you Adobe. Torrenting Adobe products is great. No monthly fees and no updates. Heinz used to make a hot ketchup that was insanely delicious. Then some asswipe decided that it needed co-branding so they put Tabasco in it and now it's Heinz hot and spicy with Tabasco and it tastes like butt. Almost all of YouTube's updates. First the channel list update. Before you had your feed and you to your right and all of your subscribed channels appear on a black bar then they turned it into some stupid tabs thing. Probably the worst in my opinion the comment section update. Now pressing V replies takes you to a different page with just that comment instead of list them right underneath the comment. Also WHR whenever I try to scroll through the comments it always acts like I want to reply. Also the trending tab and the share tab. The trending tab always has such stupid crap in it. And I don't think that anybody uses the share tab at all. Most of these are on mobile but if you're on desktop you probably won't notice these. Oh that's easy. Angry freaking birds. Formerly one of the most fun apps. Now at ridden garbage and a sign of the mobile industry. I don't even mind the ads that much if the game is free. But that energy system crap is insane. The guy who invented that and anyone who funds that behavior should be launched into the sun. Freaking garbage. Yik Yak used to be a fantastic social media app catered towards college kids a few years back. It was basically an anonymous Twitter specifically for your geographic location. It was fantastic for news and updates about campus events and seeking help advice from fellow students. You could even view Yik Yaks at other colleges around the US. Then they decided to add optional usernames. And that started a downward descent into what was essentially a ripoff of Facebook. Users left in droves and they shut down for good this past summer. It was a shame too. Because at its peak it was a must have for any college kid at a decent sized school. I remember when I quit Yik Yak because of all the username and sorted feed stuff. They tried to make it complex and overdo their response to bullying accusations instead of keeping a simpler phone number registration system. I was sad when they shut down. They had a good run for 6 months. I'm convinced hot cheetahs use less and less chili powder over time and it makes them suck. I'm convinced the same thing happened to Sour Patch Kids. Either they wimped out on the sour, or I became immune to its effects. Imga requiring you to log in to upload pictures from a phone. Or not displaying the raw image links to phones anymore. Forcing mobile pages with low res images instead. I instantly abandoned the site at that point. Instagram's non-chronological feeds emo. It annoyed me so much I barely use it anymore. Car alarms. Not once have I heard one and thought my god. Someone is breaking into that car. LinkedIn after their design overhaul. You used to be able to just scroll down to browse through a person's projects and awards etc. Now entire sections are reduced to just one sentence long. Vague descriptions. And profiles just look fugly now you have huge amounts of white space and teeny tiny little profile pictures which are now circular too to make it even more awkward. Not sure what it was supposed to improve. But I freaking hate how half the space on modern smartphones is eaten up by apps I don't use and can't uninstall. Yes frick that man. It's basically a false advertisement. Yay here's our 16 gigabytes phone but 11 gigabytes are all apps you never use and can't delete. Still 16 gigabytes yo. Have fun with your whole two apps of your choice. Anything Facebook does. Microtransactions in console games. I get it in Facebook games, 
and mobile games that are free, but in a game I already paid $60 for, it is some BS. It puts people who don't want to pay more at a competitive disadvantage. They act like they are kindly offering us a shortcut, but microtransactions always make the game drag more because they want to make you frustrated with lack of progress, so you will buy a booster pack or some crap. Same goes for Prida bonuses and day 1 DLC. They want to make you pay extra for stuff that should already be in the game. Like before I was fine paying like $5 for some good maps way after the game was released. Now though they plan out selling you the game in pieces. It's ridiculous also the games that make you grind so much so you are willing to buy whatever it is. Frick the game industry. Microsoft buying out Skype. Skype has turned into a shittier version of the retired MSN. I exclusively use Discord now. Edit. RIP inbox. Yes. Skype was never good to begin with. And then buying out Skype meant the death of MSN WLM. I loved MSN. Dig.com redesign. Never seen users abandon a website faster. Hello Reddit. The first PS3S were 100% backwards compatible with PS2 games. Starting with hardware v1.1 and up. That functionality disappeared. The original PS3S had some performance issues directly related to the presence of both a PS3 cell processor and a PS2 emotion engine processor. Removing the EE chip from subsequent PS3S destroyed the PS2 compatibility, but it improved PS3 games performance drastically. I had a V1.0 PS3, and it also had a bank of card slots, a USB PS2 memory card module, and a USB PS2 controller adapter. There's actually a German word for this, Versklimbesserung, meaning an improvement that makes something worse. I'd say the iPhone and now Pixel losing the headphone jack is a great example of this. And I think some video game patches are examples as well when balance or mechanical changes alter something you enjoyed about a game. Whatever that they did to Honeycomb cereal. Bought one box and I am never buying it again. New bigger honey taste my butt. Let me usher you into a paradise known as the Whole Foods Bar. This was a bar that perfect emo. It is a bar that is situated right in the middle of Whole Foods. They serve wine and beer and all around the magnificent island of bar is the wine and beer section full of anything you could possibly want. All you had to do was walk over and pick one of hundreds of anything and the bar will open it for you and serve it in a glass. Not only that but you could grab any protein and almost anything else from the grocery store, with a beer or wine in hand, mind you, and bring it back and have the bar staff cook it for you for free. Crab, done, meatloaf, cooked and ketchuped. Not only that but they had amazing specials. A beer and a pizza for two ten dollars. Did not matter what the beer was. Beer and wings. Beer and burger, etc. It was amazing. Or some bartenders that know what they are doing. Or some patrons who are friendly actually got my job as an associate architect by meeting someone there. Or some atmosphere. And while I drink the GF can go shopping and then join me afterwards. But they repped IT. They remodeled. Which is a fancy way of saying that they are removing all the awesome things that we liked and just turned it into a smaller restaurant with 15 seats total. You can only order from the restaurant. Cannot bring in grocery food or beer or wine. They turned over their entire staff. Prices went up. And specials are no longer a thing. Gord. Having the workers cook the food you just bought off the shelf sounds way too good to be true in the first place. Apple Magic Mouse. When you could use AA batteries it was perfect. Then they swapped that for internal rechargeable batteries. Okay so far so good but they go and put the freaking charging point underneath the freaking mouse. Some fuckwit designer at Apple didn't want to put the charging point on the front of the mouse so you could actually use it while it charges because people might end up using it as a corded mouse. They deliberately disabled the mouse for the entire time you have to charge it. Meaning you have to use a second mouse while you charge it. Unbelievable. Windows tile start menu. If I'm on a PC I do not need a menu that looks like it is built for tablets. And if I'm deploying 15,000 Windows machines to be used solely for business zero of them need Candy Crush installed. Every time YouTube changes its layouts, edit, G's 2.3k upvotes, rips up box. I rage every time, yet I can't even remember what the last layout looked like. 
You have spotted this beautiful tasty sea of bacon. You can have as much as you want as long as you subscribe in the next 22 seconds. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people. But